Episode zero, I winged it. Episode one, I created a sitemap. Episode two, I found web design inspirations. In this episode, I'm going to sketch the website on a piece of paper and then wireframe on Figma. Am I being extra? Maybe, especially if I'm building my website on Webflow and I'm not exactly communicating with clients or anyone on the team. But again, this is my excuse to learn and finally use Figma. Let's get started. For the logo, I was thinking there would be an animation where my full name will be shown and then it will shorten to my initials. Not sure if that's possible. I mean, <laughs> I'm sure it's possible, but I just don't know if it looks good. Apparently, for sketching, the point is not to evaluate your drawing. It's the first pass in visualizing your website. For the blog portion, I'm going to sketch out the list view and the gallery view. That means it's an image, text, and a button. Those four at the bottom are the social media channels. I want to put an image here, but in an irregular frame. Okay, so this is my sketch. Let's move on to wireframing on Figma. Figma is a collaborative interface design tool. I've actually never used this before, but I did watch a few YouTube videos, so this is gonna be interesting. So I'm gonna create a frame for home first and then copy that four times. I bet the UX UI designers are laughing because I'm not sure about the best practices yet for Figma because it's my first time, but it's okay, I'm learning. Seeing how the colors on the logo look. Renaming the frames to be organized. The difference between my sketch that I just did and Figma is I can explore the font sizes of the text here and the distance between the elements. Apparently, there are UI icons I can download, but I couldn't find them, so I just did it manually. This is kind of fun, especially when I remove the crits. Now I'm 
I'm just copying off the grouped elements from the other frames. Remember when I wanted this as an irregular shape? But unfortunately, I don't know how to do that on Figma yet. Looking at this now, it seems like the bottom right part seems bare, so maybe I should do something about that. Again, this looks bare, especially at the bottom, so we'll see what I can do. I'm not gonna do a full prototype because I think it's an overkill, but I tried out some interactions, which made me realize that I need to quote-unquote design the actual page for the blog post. I realized that this design could have been a template because it's so simple, but at least right now I know the absolute, absolute basics of Figma. Okay, awesome. I'm proud of myself. Next episode, I think, will be the publishing on Webflow, which is going to be the final one. So finally, check out my other videos on my job hunting process right here and see you in the next one.